good morning students and welcome to today's maths class so in the previous class we studied multiplication of large numbers and before that we had started with addition and subtraction of large numbers right so uh, we are doing the second chapter that is basic operations on large numbers or basic operation on numbers so uh, today's class what we'll do is we'll see how to div do division of large numbers so before we start with division of large numbers we'll just do a quick recap on what we studied in multiplication so as we saw multiplication is defined as to calculate the result of repeated addition of two numbers okay so when you multiply the two numbers the two numbers that you're multiplying are called factors and the final answer that you get after multiplying two numbers is called product of uh, the two factors okay so we saw how to multiply using various examples so here 6408 into 41 so how do you multiply these two numbers what you do first is 6408 into 41 so we do it as 6408 into 1 and then 6408 into 40 because 4 is in tens place we multiply it as 40 and 1 being in ones place we multiply it as one then once you get the answers you just add both the numbers to get your final product okay so these are the various different steps in how you multiply two numbers so 6408 into 1 will give you 6408 only then when i multiply 6408 into 40 i get 256320 so i'll add 6408 and 256320 i'll get 262728 okay so when you multiply these numbers you get this product so here you can write it in a tabular form that is in your place value tables so 6408 that is in ones tens hundreds and thousands place into 41 then you start multiplying first with one so one eight is a eight then one zero is a zero one four is a four one six is a six then we multiply with 40 so when you're multiplying with 40 we'll write the zero here first in ones place okay up below 8 and then we start multiplying by 4 so 4 8 is 32 so we write down 2 and carry over 3 to the tens place then 4 zeros are whenever you multiply any number with 0 you get 0 only so 4 into 0 is 0 plus 3 is 3 so we write down 3 okay and then 4 4 is 16 so we write 6 and carry over 1 okay then 4 6 is 24 so 24 plus 1 is 25 so we'll write down 5 and then we start adding so 8 plus 0 is 8 then 0 plus 2 is 2 4 plus 3 is 7 6 plus 6 12 so we write 2 carry over 1 then 1 plus 5 is 6 and 2 plus 0 2 so we get the answer 2 lakh 62728 so this is how you multiply two numbers okay so we've saw various examples for multiplying numbers then we also saw how to verify your answer using the digit sum method so what is the digit sum method first what you do is you find the digit sums of both the factors here factors are 349 and 526 so digit sum means you add the digits in a number okay until you get a single digit answer so we did 3 plus 4 plus 9 we got 16 and then we did 1 plus 6 which is 7 then we found the digit sum of 526 which is 5 plus 2 plus 6 13 and then we did 1 plus 3 4 then we found the product of digit sums that is 7 into 4 digit sums here are 7 into 4 so we did 7 into 4 28 and then 2 plus 8 is 10 and 10 1 plus 0 is 1 so product of digit sum is 1 and digit sum of product that is 1 lakh 83,574 you have to add all the digits 1 plus 8 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 4 you get 28 then 2 plus 8 when we do we get 10 and 1 plus 0 is 1 so here product of the digit sum and digit sum of the product are equal which means your answer is right your multiplication is correct so this is how you do verification of two numbers when you multiply a number okay so we saw the example and we solved the questions from exercise 
टू करेक्ट सो वी सॉल्व ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन इन द टेक्सट बुक सो फॉर टूडेज क्लास विल बी स्टडिंग वॉट इज डिविजन ना जस्ट एज सब्ट्रैक्शन इज द रिवर्स ऑफ एडिशन सो सब्ट्रैक्शन इज कॉल्ड एज द रिवर्स ऑफ एडिशन द सेम वे डिविजन इज द रिवर्स ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन ओके डिविजन इज द रिवर्स ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन ना हेयर दे टेकन द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ डिवाइड एट हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी टू डिवाइडेड बाय ट्वेंटी थ्री ओके सो वी शाल राइट डाउन द मल्टीप्लीकेशन टेबल ऑफ ट्वेंटी थ्री टिल uh maybe still seven times okay so you can make a table or in a margin you can see the tables of 23 then what you do you do the table like this 842 divided by 23 so now once you see the table here we know that 84 so first we have 84 right so we'll take now we can't just divide first we can't take only a single digit number 8 because 8 is smaller than 23 so we'll take two digits together that is 80 Four. Now eighty four here. Uh, we'll see in twenty three table if eighty four comes. But when you see the tables here, we have six forty six sixty nine ninety two. So we don't have eighty four anywhere. So we'll see a number which is less than eighty four here. We can't take ninety two, right? Because it's greater than eighty four. So we'll take sixty nine. So twenty three three is a is sixty nine. So we'll write. Three here on top and do minus sixty nine. So eighty four minus sixty nine, you will get fifteen. Now we have one more digit left, so we'll bring down that two here. So we have one fifty two. Now once again, you look at the table or the tables. You see that one fifty two doesn't come in the twenty three table. So we'll take a number nearby to one fifty two. So which is a number nearby to one fifty two? We have one thirty eight and one sixty one. But we cannot take one sixty one because it is greater than one fifty two. So we'll take one hundred and thirty eight. So that is twenty three six za is one thirty eight. So we'll write six here next to three and then subtract one thirty eight. You'll get fourteen. Now you don't you can't bring down any number also. You have finished your division and also your fourteen is less than twenty three. So we can't divide it. So what we'll do is this fourteen is called as the remainder. Okay, so here thirty six that is there is your answer that is your quotient. Fourteen here is the remainder. Okay, and here eight hundred and forty two is called the dividend and twenty three is called the divisor. So your answer is thirty six. Quotient is thirty six and remainder is fourteen. All right. So this is how you do division. Okay, so we'll see where other problems now. Now we have told six thousand six hundred and four divided by thirty two. So we'll write thirty two tables. Okay, we'll write down a few tables of thirty two. Okay, so they have written here till seven. Then what we'll do? We'll start dividing. Now thirty two here first we have sixty six. So we'll see in which number is nearby to sixty six in thirty two table. Here we have sixty four. So we'll do thirty two two is a sixty four. So sixty six minus sixty four is two. Then we'll bring down the zero, so we have twenty here. Now, twenty uh, here is uh, smaller than thirty-two, so you can't divide twenty by thirty-two. So what we'll do? You'll put a zero in the quotient and bring down the next digit, which is there, that is four. Okay, now I brought down four, so I have two hundred and four. So we'll look for a number which is closer by to two hundred and four, which is one ninety-two here. So thirty-two six is one hundred and ninety. Two. So here, two hundred and four minus one ninety two will give you twelve. Okay. So now twelve being smaller than thirty two, and there is no number to bring down also. So what we'll do? This twelve is our remainder here. Two hundred and six is our quotient. Okay. Now here they've also told you to verify. So how to verify? You have a rule. Okay. So here to that is the dividend that you have. Your dividend here is six thousand six hundred and four. It should be equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. So when you multiply the divisor and the quotient, so divisor here is thirty two, quotient is two hundred and six. When you multiply these two and add that answer to the remainder, you should get the dividend as your answer. Okay. So dividend here is six thousand six hundred and four. Divisor is thirty two. Quotient is two hundred and six. And the remainder is sixteen. 
okay so the left hand side that is divisor into quotient plus remainder will solve that first so divisor into quotient 32 into 206 when you do you get 6592 plus the remainder the remainder here is 12 okay the remainder here is 12 sorry they have given wrong here it is not 16 it is 12 so when you add 6592 plus 12 you'll get 6604 which is equal to our dividend it means that your answer is correct and it is verified okay so this is how you do division now division of large numbers so we are doing division of five digit numbers here it is quite similar to do division of three digit and four digit numbers so we'll write down the tables then we start dividing okay so the process of division is the same all right so now what we'll do is we'll see a few questions on division in your textbook so exercise 2.3 on page number 102 in your textbooks okay divide the following so there are around six problems right so now what we'll do is uh, we'll solve these problems and then uh, since we can't solve it here i'll will solve it somewhere else all right so solve these in your class workbooks or your notebooks okay so so we'll solve you'll solve this in your notebooks okay so before we start solving we'll see these two examples also so here we have divide 27589 divided by 43 so we'll write uh, 43 tables okay and then we start dividing now 27 is here so you can't divide 27 so we'll take a three digit number 275 so 275 the closest to 275 in this table is 258 so we'll do that is 43 6 za is for 258 so 43 into 6 258 so when you do 275 minus 258 you'll get 17 You're, you will be left with 17 now what we'll do we'll bring down the next number which is 8 so 178 now here in 43 tables closer to 178 we have 172 that is 43 times 4 is 172 so we'll write 4 and then we'll write subtract 172 so 178 minus 172 is 6 okay so then we'll bring down the next number which is 9 69 so the closest to 69 and 43 table is 43 only so 43 ones are 43 so 69 minus 43 is 26 so here our quotient is 641 and our remainder is 26 okay then next one 1 lakh 46 thousand 580 4 divided by 52 so first we write down the 52 tables then we start dividing so 146 now closer to 146 i have here is 104 that is 52 two are 104 so i'll write down 2 here then 146 minus 104 so when i subtract these two i get 42 okay i get 42 now i'll bring down 5 so i have 425 here okay so 52 8 is 416 so we'll do 425 minus 416 so when you do that you get 9 okay and then you bring down 8 so 52 1 is 52 so 98 minus 52 is 46 okay it will bring down 4 464 52 8 za is 416 so we'll do 464 minus 416 you'll get 48 so here 48 being smaller than 52 this is the remainder itself we cannot divide further okay so here the quotient is 2818 and the remainder is 48 okay now coming to exercise 2.3 in your textbooks now the first question is 762 point uh, 62 divided by 24 okay so we'll write down here like this 24 then 762 and i have written the 24 times tables here so now as you see 76 the closer to 76 in 24 tables we have 72 so 24 threes are is 70 correct so 24 threes are is 72 so we'll write down 3 here okay so we'll write down 3 here and then 72 so 76 minus 72 you get 4 then what we'll do we'll bring down the 
टू नाउ हेयर फोर्टी टू ना फोर्टी टू क्लोजेस्ट टू फोर्टी टू इन ट्वेंटी फोर टेबल्स इज फोर्टी एट एंड ट्वेंटी फोर बट वी कैन टेक फोर्टी एट इट बिकॉज इट इज ग्रेटर दैन ट्वेंटी फोर्टी टू सो विल टेक ट्वेंटी फोर वन जा ट्वेंटी फोर सो दैट विल राइट वन हेयर एंड देन सब ट्रैक्ट फोर्टी टू माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर यू विल गेट एटीन सो हेयर द रिमाइंडर इज एटीन एंड द क्वेश्चन इज थर्टी वन सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम क्वेश्चन इज थर्टी वन एंड द रिमाइंडर इज एटीन नाउ मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फाइव थाउजेंड फोर्टी सेवन डिवाइडेड बाय थर्टी थ्री ओके सो हियर फर्स्ट वॉट विल डू विल राइट डाउन द थर्टी थ्री टाइम्स टेबल ऑल राइट देन आफ्टर राइटिंग द थर्टी थ्री टाइम्स टेबल नाउ फर्स्ट हियर वी हैव फिफ्टी करेक्ट वी हैव फिफ्टी द फर्स्ट टू डिजिट्स इन द डिविड इन आर फिफ्टी सो देन इन थर्टी थ्री टाइम्स टेबल द द नंबर क्लोजेस्ट टू फिफ्टी इज थर्टी थ्री ओनली सो विल डू थर्टी थ्री वन जो थर्टी थ्री सो फिफ्टी माइनस थर्टी थ्री इज सेवेंटीन देन वी ब्रिंक डाउन फोर सो वी आर लेफ्ट विथ वन सेवेंटी फोर ओके सो इन थर्टी थ्री टेबल्स इफ यू लुक हियर क्लोजर टू वन सेवेंटी फोर वी हैव वन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी फाइव सो वन सेवेंटी फोर माइनस सिक्सटी फाइव यू डू सो वेन यू फर्स्ट यू राइट फाइव हियर थर्टी थ्री फाइव जो इट्स वन सिक्सटी फाइव सो फाइव विल राइट फाइव हियर देन वन सेवेंटी फोर माइनस वन सिक्सटी फाइव यू विल गेट नाइन ओके देन वी ब्रिंक डाउन सेवन सो नाइन्टी सेवन सो थर्टी थ्री टू जो इज सिक्सटी सिक्स सो नाइन्टी सेवन माइनस सिक्सटी सिक्स यू विल गेट थर्टी वन सिंस थर्टी वन इज स्मॉलर देन थर्टी थ्री वी कैन डिवाइड इट एनी फर्दर सो द क्वेश्चन हियर इज वन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी टू एंड द रिमाइंडर इज थर्टी वन ओके क्वेश्चन इज वन फिफ्टी टू एंड द रिमाइंडर इज फिफ्टी वन ओके सो दिस इज द आंसर फॉर द बी वन फाइव थाउजेंड फोर्टी सेवन डिवाइडेड बाय थर्टी थ्री नाउ विल डू द सी क्वेश्चन सिक्सटी फाइव थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटीन डिवाइडेड बाय फोर्टी नाइन सो हियर नाउ फर्स्ट एज as usual we'll write the 49 tables first and then we'll start dividing now closer to 65 in 49 tables we have 49 only so 49 ones are 49 correct so here we'll write 1 and we'll subtract 49 from 65 so 65 minus 49 is when you subtract you'll get 16 now what we'll do 16 being smaller than 49 we'll carry uh, bring down 2 So that will get one sixty two. Now one sixty two closest to one sixty two in the table is one forty seven. So one sixty two minus forty seven. That is forty nine three is a one forty seven. So we'll write three here in the quotient and we'll subtract. So when you subtract, you get fifteen remaining. Okay. So then we'll bring down one. So one fifty one. So forty nine three is a we'll do again, which is one forty seven. Okay, one fifty one minus forty one forty seven. You'll get as four. Then what we'll do? We'll bring down forty seven. Now forty seven is smaller than forty nine, but we have not completed the division because the seven we brought it down just now. So what we'll do? Forty nine zeros. I will do forty nine zeros. Is how much? It is zero only. So forty seven minus zero. You'll get as forty. Seven. Okay, so here the quotient is one thousand three hundred and thirty, and the remainder here is forty seven. Okay, quotient is one thousand three hundred thirty, and remainder is forty seven. Now we'll do the division. Forty nine zeros are one thousand three hundred thirty, and the remainder is forty seven. Okay, so here the quotient is one thousand three hundred thirty, and the remainder is forty seven. Okay, now moving on to the next question. Thirty four thousand two hundred and sixteen divided by twenty seven. So I have not shown the tables here, but when you look, you can draw the tables for your reference. So twenty seven one is twenty seven. So I'll do thirty four minus twenty seven. I'll get seven. Correct. And here then we'll bring down two. The closest to seventy two in twenty seven tables is fifty four. That is twenty seven two is a fifty four. So I'll do seventy two minus fifty four. I'll get eighteen. Okay. Then I'll bring down the next digit which is one. So I have one eighty one here. So twenty seven six is a is one hundred and sixty two. So one eighty one minus one sixty two. What when I do, I'll get nineteen. Okay, I get nineteen. Then I'll break down the next digit. That is six. One ninety six we have. So closest to one ninety six in twenty seven table is one uh, hundred and eighty 
nine. That is twenty seven seven is one eighty nine. So when I do one ninety six minus one eighty nine, I get a remainder of seven. Okay, so the quotient here is one thousand two sixty seven, and the remainder is seven. Okay, the remainder here is seven. All right. So this is how you do division of numbers. All right. So now I have done till question number D. I want you all to try question E, F, and these three questions which have they have told you to do for homework or at home. So these five questions are for your homework. That is E, F, G, H, and I. Okay. So this was all about division. In the next class, we'll see a few properties of multiplication and division, and shortcuts for multiplication and division. Okay. All right, students. I'll see you all in the next class. Thank you.